In my sending and receiving attachments video, I mentioned very briefly attaching files using Google Drive and attaching files just as normal files from your computer. But there's a couple of reasons why you might actually attach a file from Google Drive. And this has kind of happened to me recently when I had a video that I wanted to send to somebody. So if I'm sending an email to this guy with a movie attached, if I attach that file just using the um, attach a file button, it's bigger than 25 megabytes. So now it's giving you the option, but don't worry, you can send it using Google Drive. So Google Drive gives you the option that you can attach any file up to 10 gigabytes, which is a crazy amount, and you never would be sending somebody up to 10 gigabytes anyway. But my movie is 50 megabytes, so and I need to email it to somebody. So basically what I'll do is I'm going to go through the process of, of uploading a file to Google Drive, and then that's going to attach it to the email. So it's actually a really great way to actually get bigger files to people, emails. So I can click that, choose. That's it, it's 53 megabytes. I'm going to upload it to Google Drive. It's going to take a minute or two, a few seconds. And there it is, it's attached to the email. I'm just going to send that. So when it's uploaded to your Google Drive, it's not shared automatically with the recipient, okay? So very handily, the, the email says, okay, so you want to you wanna basically, this person to be able to view that um, document? Yes, no problem. If it was a um, editable document that was for some reason crazy amount, big size, and they want, you want them to change it, then you can change it to can edit. But that's fine, share and send. That's winging its way to my other inbox. I'm just going to show you that now. And so here I am in my other inbox with the um, email attached with the movie. And so if I click on that, I will get to the movie inside.